Welcome back to part three of Add a Fan to a Cobra 2000. What uh, the final destination is, is to add this slow speed with a thermal sensor fan to the back of this unit. I'll start off with a Dremel tool with a cutting disc and on these long runs here I could probably get a jigsaw in there but it's pretty tight. I've got components on the back so I have to be very careful as to I don't want any debris in the area here so I'm going to try and mask it off as best as I can. Okay, I've got the unit on the bench here ready to create a cutout for the fan. I know there are people out there cringing right now for what, am I about to, what I'm about to do, but think of it this way. There are two camps. There's the stock and the modified. Just like in cars, there are people who like their stock 68 Mustang, and then there are others who want the modified Cobra Jet 428. Well, this is my Cobra Jet 2000. Okay, so... I've got the unit. It's all covered up. I don't want any kind of debris being, you know, somehow loosened up and put inside the unit. So I've got it all covered up and and protected in that way. So if you'll notice, right down here is where I'm going to be cutting. Here's my tool. I've got the cutoff wheel on my unit. And here's our eventual goal is to put this fan in there like that. So I'm going to be cutting here in the area that's marked off. Wearing safety glasses as well. And let's get started. Alright, I got a... Uh wire mesh wheel on here just to finish off the edges edges so uh, no need to get too upset about it's not being 100 percent we need just to create a uh, an opening to get our flow from inside out and also I need uh, these little ears on here so I can mount so that's uh, the last part of this project. I'm drilling some uh, couple holes here and uh, probably put one here. This is into double wall construction. Now this is all just single wall up to this line here. From here below it's double wall so I want to make sure. I'm only going to drill one and I don't want to... Uh, it's just a fan. We don't need the all four screws so I'm going to put one on either side here. And. Uh, then uh, I have to uh, run my 12-volt uh, line. I haven't decided exactly which one I'm going to pick off, but uh, that's uh, the next step. All right, well, there's our view from the, the front side showing the cutout for the fan in back. So that's all good to go. We've got the holes drilled. What I'm going to do now is looking at the front, and I'm planning on the future as well, is that, as I mentioned in part one, that I'm going to be putting on the black faceplate on this unit. So we're going to have a black knob there, and I'm going to be putting in another control right here. And uh, this is a 10K pot, and my idea for this is... I want a variable RF. So that's what that one's about. So, while we're in the drilling and cutting stage, I'm going to uh, drill another hole there. I want it to be equally spaced, just like all the other controls. So we're going to have it right about here. And with the black faceplate on here, there's no text there this shows up so we're not going to be missing anything so I'll have another control here for a variable RF so I just need to uh, mark that and drill that out just gonna tap this 
It's plastic. But we don't want to wander. Okay. Have a little indentation. My control, see if it fits in there. Just a little tight, that's just what I wanted. I want it to be a little tight. Actually, that's almost going to thread in there. All right, there's my completed hole and a knob that's going to be going there, so uh, I'll wire that up later. Alright, next up is mounting the fan. This fan, among one of its many attributes, has rubber mounting posts. So they're a little tricky to mount, but what I've done here already is I have them <clears throat> mounted on the fan itself. So these will totally, totally isolate the fan from the chassis with these little rubber dampers. So I put them on a the fan and uh, I've got my holes drilled in the chassis already. I just feed the wires through. Get our first glimpse of uh, things to come. So I've got sufficient space here for the wires. And then what I'll have to do is just make sure I, I tug on the inside the rubber dampers here and uh, get that in but uh, that's what we're getting that's looking pretty good I've got this audio meter here sound level meter and as we can see it's working what I'm gonna do is uh, just get the reading off and uh, that way we'll have some numbers to compare pretty close to nothing Okay, just follow me along and I'll actually stick this meter, you know, an inch away from the fan. We can see we'll the it. meter is just inches away from the fan. And I'm getting a very slight reading if you look at the far left. Here's our final look at the Cobra 2000 with the fan installed. Well, you know, it's uh, it's not shabbily done. You know, I uh, tried to do a nice, tasteful job that was uh, useful as well. Uh, I'm thinking, possibly, of uh, putting a switch on it and controlling it. It's all about control. I had a uh, on-off switch for it, uh, possibly there. Can easily be reached from the front uh, to totally turn it right off. So um, that's possibly in the in the cards. I'm uh, I'm gonna think about it, just like everything else I've done with it since I've uh, brought it out of retirement and uh, bring it back to life and making it better. Pretty well, we're uh, we're we're done here with that.